The router assembly shown here has most of its exterior and interior geometry added, as you can see when I move the top component up. The final step is to add counterboard screw holes through both components at the intersections of the web. Instead of using multiple features to make the holes, such as sketch circles and extrude cuts, I'll just add the four holes as a group with the hole command, since it'll give me more hole-specific options. I'll revert the position of the top component and hide it for now. To enable the hole command, you can right-click and go to the Create Flyout within the Marking menu, go to the Create drop-down menu on the top bar, or simply press H on your keyboard. In the Hole dialog box, I'll start with the placement options. The first one, At Point Single Hole, allows you to quickly create a single hole on any face or point. So, when I hover over a face, white snap points appear to snap to, though I can place the hole anywhere. I'll select the top face of the web, and a preview of the hole appears. With a face selected, the exact location of the hole can be moved to a different part of that face at any time by clicking and dragging, and while snap points appear at the center of cylinders while dragging, snapping to them won't lock the position. This placement option does only allow for one hole to be created at a time, so I'll switch it to From Sketch Multiple Holes. As the name implies, only sketch points can be selected, so I'll show Sketch 8 from the browser, select the four points on the sketch, and click the Flip Direction option to generate a preview. I'll switch to the right view on the view cube and zoom in on one of the holes to better view its details. As you can see, the current hole type will create a single cylindrical cut with a pointed tip that can be adjusted either directly in the drawing area or from the dialog box. I'll switch the hole type to counterbore, and a second, larger diameter cut around the basic hole is added. The counterbore depth and diameter can be controlled either from the dialog box or the drawing area. I'll switch to the final hole type, countersink, and an angled cut is added to the start of the hole with a countersink diameter and angle that can be adjusted from the dialog box or the drawing area. For this example, I'll create a counterbore hole with a counterbore diameter of 6 mm, counterbore depth of 10 mm, and diameter of 3 mm. Before I set the depth, however, I'll first cover the extents options. Distance allows you to set a custom depth. 2 creates the hole up to a selected point and using the Match Shape option will match the tip to the face's shape. Finally, the All option cuts the hole through everything with the selected diameter. I'll use Distance for these holes. Show the top component, and set the depth to 30 millimeters, so it goes into the top component, but not through it. I'll click OK to add the holes, and move the top component up. You can see the holes have been added through both the bottom and top components, without cutting through the top of the assembly. And when you look at the bottom of the bottom component, you can also easily see the different counterbore diameter.